this week's Everyday Champion. Today I'd like to introduce to you Andre Morton, better known as Coach Andre. He's a former competitive swimmer and school teacher who is now helping to alleviate a problem that has caused many deaths in our community, the fear of water and the inability to swim. Welcome to the show, Coach Andre. How are you? Good to have you, man. You know, you have been a, 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 a stalwart in our community when it comes to teaching people how to swim and dealing with fear when it comes to swimming. Tell us a little more about what you do. Well, my business name is Rhythm and Stroke. Okay. And so I teach all levels of swimming, infants, children, and adults. And I always say that I'm the man that's going to put the rhythm in your stroke. I like that. I like that. So not only your ability to learn, but you have to be able to do things efficiently and smooth in the water. Mm -hmm. And so that is our goal with our organization is to get more people to learn how to swim, especially in our African-American community yeah. where the drowning rates are the highest in yeah. the nation. I heard there's a lot of statistics statistics around that. Tell us a little bit more about that. Fortunately, some of the statistics have dropped since okay. uh, in the past few years, but okay. right now it stands at about 64% of African Americans uh, don't know how to swim, Wow. 45% of Hispanics, and 40% of Caucasians do not know how to swim. Mm -hmm. Now, the troubling aspect of that is that out of all those st statistics, 87% of all of those groups are going to go to the water this summer. Wow. And get in the water. So they're going to go anyway, even not knowing how to swim. Exactly. So how do you help them? I mean, you know, there's always swim teachers and you can take lessons, but, you know, you don't have to tell me the secret to it, but what, what's up, what makes your rhythm and stroke unique? Well, one of the things that we've done, my wife actually came up with a program called Do It Afraid. So uh -huh. she wrote the program, I'm the Execution. Okay, gotcha. And fear is a big aspect of why people do not come to the water and learn. Right. So we fundraise for that. Okay. Um, so that the lessons are free for children and adults. Oh, that's awesome. And what I help them to do is to get over that fear. It's not about swimming initially. Mm -hmm. It's about getting you comfortable, mm -hmm. getting you to become one with the water. Mm -hmm. And then from that stage, when you can put your face in the water and relax, know how your body feels and that awareness in the water, then if you choose to take the next step to learn how to swim, it will be a much easier process. Wow. So really it's psychological. Definitely. And so you help people get over the psychological uh, aspect of fear even before they learn to swim. Correct. And yes. so that's really the problem that people have been having. You know, that's that's a good thing and that's a good way to attack it. I know that's a unique way. And so that's why I said there's not many people like you in Cleveland doing that kind of thing. And so I, I just want to let you know you're an everyday champion. I appreciate you helping people. You're saving lives. I mean, you know, one stroke at a time. One stroke at a time, that's right. <laughs> yeah, rhythm and stroke. So tell us tell us how people can find you. I know there's many viewers who want to, you know, get involved and, and learn how to swim and also get over their fear. Yes, well, my website is www.rhythmandstroke.com. Uh -huh. so all one word. I also post a lot of my clients and students on my Facebook and okay. Instagram. So Rhythm and Stroke on Facebook and also Rhythm and Stroke on Instagram. You will see on my Instagram I have over a thousand posts. Okay. Of people who, my clients who are learning to swim. Gotcha. And so if anybody ever says um, that, you know, there's a stereotype that says black people do not swim. Yeah. You can go to you can go to my Instagram page and see about a thousand posts of those who do. There we go. Well, I appreciate it, Coach Andre. Thank you. Thanks again for being on the show. Thank you. And I want to thank you, the faithful live on Lakeside and Everyday Champion viewers, for tuning in. But before I go, here's your tip of the week. Don't let fear slow down your progress. Today we talked about how fear can stop you from enjoying some awesome things in life like swimming. Maybe you have a fear of crowds, a fear of the future, fear of what lies ahead, a fear of losing your <coughs> job, or fear of your business falling apart. All these thoughts can actually stop you from reaching your goals. They stop you from trying. So whatever thoughts that's trying to stop you, don't buy into it. You don't have to accept fear. Some say it's just false evidence appearing real to you. Remember, when fear knocks at your door, answer it with a little faith. Don't get intimidated because you can always win the battle that rages in your mind. The answer to the fear of what you think may happen is to realize that you have the ability to make something better happen. So stay positive and remember again, when fear knocks at your door, answer it with courage and faith. It works every single time. 
Well, that's my message to you for this week, and I'm glad you tuned in to see who's doing some great things in our community. Remember to visit my website at LarryMakingJr.com or at me on Facebook or Instagram as I post daily inspiration to help you throughout your day. I speak every week, and you can find out where by going to MZOV.org. Be sure to contact me and let me know who you think should be next week's Everyday Champion. There's good people doing some great things, and I'm glad that I get to share that with you every single week. So we are live on Lakeside, and we'll be right back.